So welcome to Mathematics Post. So today we have this question about inverse variation. So let's get started. So we have this question. We have been asked to look at an equation. So we are asked to write an equation relating x and y. So the equation will be based from this table. Now, even if you are not asked to, to look for this equation and you have this type of problem, always make sure that you look for an equation relating x and y. So let's start. So we have y varies inversely as x, 1 over x. So we are going to have an equation to actually write an equation. So at times they can just say y if you have y varies inversely as x is the same thing y varies inversely at x okay or y is inversely proportional to x so you have to write it in this format so write an equation relating x and y so we are going to have y is proportional to 1 over x so to write an equation an equation so we need to change this to equal and we write the symbol of proportionality k 1 over x so this is what you're always going to do when you remove this symbol of variation of proportionality you always need to write equals to k then you write the next variable okay so to continue we are asked to write an equation this is our equation but the equation say what write an equation relating x and y but we have k so this means we need to calculate the value of k so in order to calculate the value of k we need x we need y and we need x so we can find x and y in this part of the table so we just need to plug in the given value so we can see y is 5 so we are going to have 5 equals to we have k 1 over x is 10 so we can move further we have 5 k times 1 is k over 10 so if we cross multiply we can write this over 1 we cross multiply we are going to have 1 we are going to have 1 times k which is k should be equal to 5 times 10 so which is 50 so k is 50 so the answer for the first question and I said don't forget always make sure that you write this equation without it you will be unable to complete the table so even if they don't ask it so the answer here will be equals to y is equals to k so k is 50 50 over x so this a so now for b let us complete the table in order to complete this table as i said before we are going to use this same formula so the formula is y is 50 over x so the formula is y is 50 over x so here we have we have been given x x is 25 and we are asked to find y so y x is 25 50 over 25 so this implies our y is equal to 2 so here we have 2 here we have been given y and we are asked to look for for x so if we follow the formula or the equation relating x and y next we need to look for x so y is 10 is just plug in the value we have 10 should be equals to 50 over x this we can put it over 1 as well so this will be 10 x should be equals to 50 1 times 50 so x will be equals to 50 over 10 which is 5 x is equals to 5 can you write the value of x here when y is 20 in the comment section thanks for watching
please subscribe.